Kildare Focus with Kira Plunkett in association with Riley Supervalue at the Waterways Salons. KFM. And you're welcome on into part three of Thursday's edition of Kildare Focus. We're joined in studio by Lakela Mentoring and Youth Justice Support Services. We'll be talking in a minute to two volunteers, Andy Murphy and Leslie Beale, about why they got involved. But first, uh, Helen McCarthy, Midlands Coordinator, you are appealing for volunteers, but first of all, tell us a little about Lakela and what it does. Yeah, well, Lakela, we, we, we work with uh, young and I uh, suppose try and get them to start rebuilding more positive link, links with the community and um, maybe take up a hobby, um, you know, sort of just to divert them away from the path that they've started to go down. I mean, when you say w- uh, work w- with young people, what do you mean? Offenders and their families. Um, so I suppose um, the young offenders who I suppose their life has started to go off track a little bit, um, we recruit and train volunteers uh, from the community to work one-to-one with them. OK, so the volunteers that we would um, be looking for would be... Um, uh, they they would make themselves available to meet once a week with the young person mm-hmm. and um, it would be friendship based so it would be about building a rapport with that young person It's kind of like a, the, uh, the American Big Brother system Yeah exactly it would be very similar to that I suppose you'd be doing some sort of leisure activity whether it would be going for something to eat or maybe going to the cinema or a um, game of pool or a, maybe a, an art class or you know so really it's, it's about what the young person is interested in we try and tap into that but um, it would be all with something in the community because that's ultimately what we're trying to do is get them to make better links in the community so it would never be in their home or it would never be in the volunteers home um, it's a neutral you know, safe neutral, space yeah exactly yeah um, Lakela helped in, in 2014 quite a significant number of young people almost 200 um, drawn from um, I think nearly 50 families um, what is it that you're aiming to achieve by this mentoring service okay I suppose uh Obviously, the young person is with us because they've um, uh, been involved in some level of criminality. Mm-hmm. So I suppose um, uh, what we do is, I suppose we don't directly target the criminality because there's a complex you know, list of factors that would be involved in it, somebody going down that path. I suppose what we do is we try and work with them to um, build their confidence so that they're maybe better able to make better decisions. Um, we the, the volunteers sort of explore different options with them around um, leisure activities and hobbies and maybe educational stuff again to try and just um, uh, make their life uh, you know more you know that they're linked in the community link, linked into the community in a way that is more um, productive I suppose that they can kind of, to, to sort of deter them from mm-hmm. where they've started to go down so that that would be to, to try and pop, positively impact their life um, just to give people a, a feel of what Lakela is about, this isn't the only service that you offer, this mentoring service. There's also parent mentoring, parent programmes, family support interventions, um, strengthening families programme and restorative justice. What's that about? Um, restorative justice um, is really, I suppose it's about um, working with both the the victim and the offender, trying to bring them together to... Um, uh, I suppose to, to get them both to understand and maybe um, put closure on what what happened. So they, while it mightn't always be the um, direct victim and the or sorry the, the victim may not want to be part of that mm. process, but I suppose it's about um, the young person be made feel I suppose accountable for what the and making what amends the, making amends as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I suppose the the volunteers that we have today haven't worked in the restorative end of things. Um, you know, I suppose today we're supposed really looking appealing for people who are interested in getting involved in the youth mentoring and the you know possibly the parent mentoring Andy Murphy and uh, Leslie Beale you've you've both um, been involved for the last two or three years with volunteering with Lakela Andy why did you get involved in this uh, I was just after doing um, a charity thing a charity fundraiser I decided that I'd like to go and do something sort of longer term yeah so I had a look on different volunteering websites and for some reason I kept getting drawn back to the Lakela one uh, the choice of you know the chance to get to work with young people who you know find themselves you know in a bit of trouble or anything like that mm. and I, so you know I just decided as I said it just found that it was more you know opportunities to do something longer term work yeah. with young people and that and mm. o- over your time with Lakela you've worked w- with several young people what's, what's kept you coming back mm. to the organisation is it the young people that you work with it's the young people we work with. It's the support we get from Lakela. We're particularly lucky in the Midlands that we have, you know, such a good supervisor, Helen McCarthy. Mm. 
Um, you know, but the, seeing the young people, you know, sometimes sometimes good people do bad things and find themselves in bad situations. And, you know, just to be, a, be you know, just be non judgmental, just to listen to the young people, you know, just be there for them, give mm. them someone to talk to them and things like that. It's just, it's in, it's in its own way rewarding, but seeing them sort of mature themselves, you know, and try to, just try to make their lives a bit better, try to give a little bit back to the communities that they may have, you know, fallen, fallen foul of in the past. And, and Leslie, why did you get involved? Well, I went back to college uh, later in, in my life and uh, trained as a counsellor and psychotherapist. And Just scooch in a little closer to the mic there. And um, So part of my placement, I was uh, working with, with young offenders. Mm-hmm. And um, so through that, then I saw the ad for Lakela and I thought it was a great, um, great, great chance to get more involved with them. So um, in that, I... Get a weekly we we would meet up with with the uh, young offenders and it was really rewarding as well as the training that Lakela would give us. I would highly recommend the training was very very good especially mm. going forward in 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 my um in my profession um and like that on a personal note it's great great um great to see them uh, getting um getting on with their lives yeah. and you know being encouraged and supported by by Lakela as along with myself. Just mentioning that that training, Helen. What does it entail? Because it is quite comprehensive. Yes, I suppose it's really it's 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 um, it's setting the volunteer up for what they're going to be doing. Um, it's uh, it's um, I suppose make creating an awareness about you know what some of the issues would be for the young people that we would be working with, um, and um, the, um, the 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 kind of do's and don'ts of mentoring. Mm. Because obviously, obviously you're working with a young person, but there's boundaries around that so obviously the training covers a lot about um you know what's what what mentoring is and and more importantly what it's not so i suppose you know the the volunteers aren't there to fix all the problems that the young person has and um you know they're not on call for the young person um, morning noon and night yeah yeah. exactly so it's just it's just to let them know well where does my help begin and end um just so i suppose the training it's not an academic course you know it's uh, and again i suppose just for for your listeners if they're considering um getting involved with us um uh, you know we want people from all walks of life there's no experience required um it's just somebody with an interest in um helping a young person Mm. um and somebody who thinks they can build a good rapport with a young person and and the training really just builds on their natural skills and just makes sure that they're you know, aware of what to do in certain situations and, and what our rules are. Um. I know um, Helen there just, just touched on that it's important for, for the mentors to understand as much what a mentor is as, uh, as as much what a mentor is not. Did either of you find that a difficult line to, to find uh, just when you were starting out volunteering? Um, for myself, not really, because the training was was really good. Mm. You know, we were able to throw different um, scenarios at one another in the training that if you did one thing and we one might want do it one way and one might think you know especially around Hogan and things like mm. that or you know so we, we would throw all that out in the training and we realized you know that these you know the what would happen in different situations that some people you know are are not you know used to being hugged whereas yeah. you know others you know might like it so you know throw all that scenarios out there and the training was was brilliant so it would set you up for any sort of thing. and you'd you feel very secure on, on very meeting your mentee so, yeah, the first so you'd time you'd be up for any challenges and plus Helen and Lakela are always there you know at the end of the phone that if you had any issues that you know that you can always ring it can always check you know that you if you if had any problems, Andy, would you would you recommend somebody who's who's looking around for some way to give back to their community, perhaps to to think about getting involved with Lakela? Yeah, I certainly would. It's um, it has been very enjoyable. You know, I work in the in the private industry, so you know this is sort of a far cry from what I do yeah. on a day to day basis. Um, I work full time as well, so I was a little bit apprehensive at first, but you know, having gone and done the training and following on from what Leslie said, the training, you know, the the policy and guidelines are very clear. You know, you do get great support in that from Michaela as well. Um, so, you know, it's certainly recommended to anybody. Yeah, I mean, it's you know very enjoyable. You get to build a little bit of rapport with the people mm. as well. And while it feels daunting initially, you know, it's you know once you sit down and start meeting, wait a minute after a week or two, you realise you know that you know he's actually quite a good guy. Or yeah, you know, little things like that. It's you know certainly very enjoyable and. You know, it's it is fairly flexible too in terms of time and stuff like that. You know, so. 
And Helen, if anybody listening wants to investigate this further or wants to, to come on board with you as a volunteer, how do they do that? Um, well, my mobile number is um, 086 um, We have a website with a lot of information as well. That's www.lecaila.ie and I'll spell that. It's L-E-C-H-E-I-L-E uh, dot I-E. Um, and then my email address is helen at lecaila.ie. Um, so any of those methods, if they want to get in touch, we'd be delighted to hear from them. Perfect. Lakela Midlands Coordinator, Helen McCarthy and volunteers Andy Murphy and Leslie Beale. Thank you all so much for joining us.